we're pleased to be with Brian London, publisher of the Gold Newsletter and also the host of the New Orleans Conference. Brian, thank you for joining us on Small Cap Power. Great to be with you. Uh, so the first thing on my mind is gold. Uh, let's talk about the fundamentals driving the gold price. Well, if you look over the longer term, what's going to drive gold prices higher, what makes higher gold prices essentially inevitable are the, uh, is the eventual depreciation of currencies. Debt loads have been built up to such a high degree, primarily sovereign debt loads, during this great expansion of money and, and, and easing of monetary policy since 2008, that debt loads right now in most countries are so high that their currencies have to be depreciated. That means gold prices are going higher over the longer term. Right, so where can investors position themselves to be maximizing this? Um, what sorts of investment strategies should we have? Well, I always recommend that investors have their, their core holdings of physical precious metals. Beyond that, they can diversify in mining stocks, and even in mining stocks, there's a great, uh, there's a spectrum of mining stocks that they can invest in. One of the real opportunities that I've been recommending in Gold Newsletter are these junior exploration companies right now. We had gold come up off a of bottom in December of 2015. 2016 was kind of a year of remobilization. They were able to raise money and start work on a bunch of, on some really good projects, exploration projects. This year we're seeing a lot of companies that are actually drilling these outstanding targets that have essentially lain fallow through the bear market. And now they're putting out some really good results and we're seeing some of their share prices uh, uh, really just explode higher in some cases when they've had good results. Well, who are these juniors? We were recommending GT Gold and Gold Newsletter, one of only, I believe, two newsletters that actually recommended them before they, they got their drill results. And of course, that went up four or five times over for our readers. Uh, we're recommending some companies in the Yukon. Uh, we like Hyundai Gold in the, in the Yukon. Uh, we're recommending some companies in the Golden Triangle as well. Avon Resources uh, is one of the companies I've, I've been recommending in Gold Newsletter as well. Gotcha. Now with the gold rush, that uh, is a big topic here at the Money Show. Um, how do you know that we're in a gold bull market right now? Well, you can look at the fundamentals and you can see the fundamentals. You can see low interest rates. You can see the market and investors uh, assume the Fed is not going to be able to raise rates as they expected. That's one factor, that's a fundamental factor. But the other thing you can do is just look at the charts. We've broken out, we've broken multi-year downtrend lines. There's no doubt at this point that we're in a renewed gold bull market. The question is, when are we going to get those pauses along the way, and how do you take advantage of this? Right. So what are you doing? Um, you know, we're in September 2017 now. We're heading into winter time soon. Um, where are you positioning yourself? What are you doing as an investment uh, uh, writer? I'm investing and recommending some of these exploration plays that have drill results pending. I, that's that's a, a higher potential nearer term uh, 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 aspect or opportunity. There are also companies out there like Sabina Gold and Silver, for example, that have very large resources that uh, have a lot of upside and a lot of potential to be re-rated as the gold price goes up. Right. Now for viewers um, who don't know about your New Orleans conference, talk to us about it. I know it's the oldest of its kind. Yeah. Um, who's your audience there and what sorts of speakers are you inviting? It's the original gold conference started in 1974. We're celebrating wow. our 43rd, 43rd anniversary. We, we get big name speakers that aren't uh, typically seen at a lot of conferences. We have uh, Robert Kiyosaki this year. We have uh, um, uh, Charles Krauthammer, we have Tucker Carlson, we have Dennis Gartman, uh, Peter Schiff, Rick Rule. We have most of the, uh, the major newsletter writers and junior stock market analysts out there. So it's kind of the big gathering every fall right. of serious investors who are focused on uh, not only the metals and mining, but also geopolitics and economics. Right. Now lastly, um, aside from gold, is there anything else that you're looking at closely that you'd like to talk to us about? Uh, the base metals have done very well recently. Uh, I like copper, I like zinc, of course most people do right now. I do believe cobalt is the next big play. It's already uh, showing that. I think investors have to be careful in that area though. There are some companies that are doing real work on the ground. There are other companies that are primarily stock plays and doing a lot of promotional work. Yeah. 
So you need to look for companies that have outstanding projects in that area and are actually putting money into the ground and not so much in just promoting their stock. For sure. Well, Brian, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Uh, to learn from more uh, experts like Brian, make sure you sign up for our free newsletter on smallcappower.com.